Welcome back to Adobe Photoshop CS5 for Architecture Students. In this video we're going to start uh, breathing life into our drawing and giving it scale and context um, by adding in some people. Now I have a file in the resource section, People Outlines. I'm going to open that up. Now it's easy to sort of build up your own entourage library um, of people. Now, you might um, just trace people from a magazine. You might just uh, draw them and scan them in so that you can use them again and again. Or you could probably just um, cut and paste people out. Um, so instead of being an outline, it's an actual photograph of a person. Now, we'll be um, trying to augment our um, entourage library as part of the workshops, so um, hopefully um, we'll have a lot more resources to draw upon as time goes by. But these um, people here are useful for what we need. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick this couple over here chatting away. I'm going to pull a rectangular marquee over them, copy those, Control c or Command c with the Mac, Go back to my presentation drawing. Now I'm going to paste them into my section over here. So I'm going to go Control V to paste, and there you can see they've come through on a new layer. I can use the Move tool to position them in place. Now you can see that the white background has come through. Um, in that cut and paste which is overlaying the background of the image. Now not too keen on that so I'm going to change the layer properties to multiply. So it turns them um, into ghosts I guess on tracing paper but we can fix that up in a second. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, resize these people. They're a little bit tall for the space, not too bad but to resize uh, a layer, what we do is we go into the Edit uh, application, the pull-down menu, and go to Transform, and then to Scale. Now, it shows the, the bounding box of that um, uh, layer, and it gives us some grab handles on the side. Now, if we keep the Shift key down, that'll hold our aspect ratio. Let's just pop these guys down a little bit. That's probably that's probably okay. Now if we go to the move tool that will sort of close off the operation and we can go apply. So there's our two people um, in our space there. Now I just want to um, show you a sh small thing before we go on. Now I can bring those people back in a second but I'm just going to pull them off to the side here just for the time being. Okay. Now, I'm going to do a copy of them. So, I'm going to draw a marquee around them. I'm going to copy them and paste. Control C, Control V. Now, I'm going to pull them apart because they've pasted themselves one on top of the other. Now, I'm going to zoom in on these people. Now, the resolution's not brilliant, but it's okay um, for the drawing that we're doing. Now, if you notice, um, when we rescaled um, in the uh, tr using the transform, that we didn't really perceive much uh, difference in, um, I guess, the resolution of the transformation. But if we do just a standard transformation, um, when we rescale it down, um, it actually does. When in the rescaling process, it throws away a lot of information. Um, and when we try and sort of scale the object back up again, it doesn't recover that. So let me give you a demonstration. Now here's the two objects or people side by side, exactly the same. Now I'm going to transform our couple to the right. Now I'm going to do a fairly extreme transformation. Make them into tiny, tiny little people. Hit the move to apply that. So there's our people there. Now, 
I've realised that I've made them much, much too small. So I'm going to try and rescale them, bring them back up to the size of their siblings over to the right. And we apply that. But uh oh, what's happened here? The actual, when we've scaled it back up, the resolution has dropped off considerably because when we scaled it down in the first place, it actually threw away a lot of information during that scaling process. Now, there is a way of overcoming this. Now, if we go back to our other people here in layer 1, we can try change the, the uh, format of these people, or the layer. Now, if I go to the flyout on top of the layer, I can change the layer to a smart object. So I'm going to convert that layer to a smart object. You can see it's changed the way that um, object looks. Now I'm going to do that transformation again. So transform scale. Now you can see the outline's a little bit different. Um, now I'm going to scale our people way, way, way down. Little, little people place. There they are. Tiny people. But again, just realise that it's actually not a smart move. I'm going to change them back. Scale them back up again. Hit the move key to place. And there we go. We actually don't have any loss of uh, resolution when we um, change the layer to a smart object. So I'm going to delete this layer too because I've pretty well ruined it. So I've got a contextual menu. So if I right click, I get the contextual menu, but I've got the fly out here as well. So I'm going to delete that layer. Yes, I want to delete layer too. I'm going to zoom out. Pan using my shift, my spacebar. I'm going to move my people back into position. Okay, so there we go. I'm kind of happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put a fill over these people now. But because this layer is multiplying, if I fill over the top of these people, I'm still going to see through to the object beneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate. No, I won't duplicate the layer. I'll actually just create a new layer. And I'll call this um, people infill. OK. So I'm going to go back to my layer 1. And I want to select the regions inside these people. So I'll zoom in just a little bit more. There we go. Now I'm going to use a different selection method this time, and I'm going to use the magic wand. Now what the magic wand does is that it will select a region inside um, a defined boundary. So if I click the magic wand inside here, you'll see it'll give me a selection tight to that inside. Now I'm going to hold my shift key down because I want to do the same with the person standing on the right. So I've got a region now. I'm going to go back to my layer people infill. I'm going to find a color that I want to color these guys and probably I'll do them as a dark brown. They've been at the spray tan beforehand. Use my bucket fill, and I'm just going to fill. In fact, that colour looks rather awful. Slightly lighter one. Mm, not made keen on that one. There we go. That's okay. So we filled up um, the people. 
Now, we can save that selection, but I probably won't need it again, so I'm just going to go Control D. So there you have um, placing people into our drawing. I'm just going to get a little pencil in here and just fill in that little bit through there. Okay, zoom out again. There we go. So there we have, we've pasted in our people, we've rescaled them, and we've looked at the this um, option of uh, the layer and turning that into a smart object. So when we zoom up, down, and then back up again, or down, back up, the actual um, scaling uh, remains, um, we don't lose resolution in that process. So stick around, in the next video we're going to um, continue adding to the section. Um, this time we'll be um, adding trees uh, to contextualize and scale our image. So we'll see you for the next video.